not been here for a while uh if you haven't noticed i have not uploaded a video in a month other than the uh the vibrato meme i made because that was pretty funny i thought i i had an episode for this i finished recording it and for some reason my computer won't actually let me like post the video on youtube it I have it all edited i've had it edited for weeks and it just is not working i've tried many times more times than I can count, mostly because I forgot, though, not because it, it was that many. It, it was a lot, though. I tried a lot, and it's still not working. I'm trying again today, uh, as I have been doing. It is not working, but today I got closer than I've ever gotten to it working. So hopefully I actually can get it out, but in case I can't get it out, this is what I did last episode. I did this. I, uh, I used scaffolding for it, which was a very bad idea. I no longer like scaffolding. It, I, I was warming up to it when I built some of these things, but uh, I don't like it anymore. This, this, is, this scaffolding, it was more painful to use scaffolding than it would have been to just build it without scaffolding. I don't like scaffolding, and I take back any positive things I've said about it. <laughs> No, it isn't actually that bad. It It's just very bad for buildings that are larger than, like, 20 blocks in any direction. Uh, scaffolding is pretty good for small things. Uh, but not that. Another thing I did is after five months, I finally built an actual exit to this place, which is very bright. It is, very, it is a very bright exit. Um, Kalen came over. And he, oh, and I'm gonna sleep first. But he actually did the interior to interior. He did the interior to one of my buildings. You see, uh, I I tried to replace the armor stand that was removed a while ago, and it's not letting me. So I think I'm gonna have to update the uh, the data pack. Uh, that you know there was a armor stand of cheese down here, and it's not there anymore. So I was trying to redo it. I also can't remember how I got his head, so I'm just using a mini guardian for now. But I, I can't do anything with it, so I'm going to have to do that later. I'll, I'll try again once I have the data pack updated. Biggest change, actually, is I got the shaders to work again, which I, I you most likely noticed by now. Uh, they, they work. It wasn't that there was a problem, it's just that Optifine wasn't out, and now Optifine is out. I also changed the lighting slightly, so if you notice things look a little bit different than they did before, that's because they do I also replaced the sugar cane over there with bamboo, uh, and it's not really, it's not exactly lossless, I'll say that. Another thing that was removed in 1.14, well, it was not because of 1.14, it was because uh, I was just being an idiot, but uh, the nether here, my, my nether hub was removed, and I rebuilt it, and I also changed out out here because this looks terrible now it looks a little bit less terrible it actually looks kind of nice still not great and i also extended it but then i realized because you're going through this at a really fast speed it's switching from white to black very quickly and it hurts your eyes so i'm gonna have to redo this and that's what this episode is going to be focusing on i'm going to be doing some stuff around the nether uh, i'm gonna try and redo this and hopefully extend it a bit and i also want to um uh, is that lava? Yeah, that lava was always there. Never mind. It's very bright here now for some reason. It, the nether feels way brighter, and I'm not entirely sure why. I think that's because I changed some of the settings. But I want to put like something over here that indicates where my base is so that people can see it from this entrance. Because there's actually two ways to get to my base. This is the one I always use, um, which is the undecorated way. <laughs> the one over there, I never even used this way. Uh, I'm decorating it because this is the most accessible part of it because it's linked up to all the other pathways But I never use this way. I always use the other way, which is why I actually want to put something over there That looks hopefully pretty nice um, I'm not gonna do it the whole way here though because it It's a lot But I am at least going to point them into the direction of this so that they can at least see it So that's what I'm gonna do Actually, while I'm here, I didn't even show you the interior that Kalen did. He, uh, he did this. It looks pretty nice, I think. He originally had a different floor, and I didn't like the floor, so I changed it.
without even asking him. Now I actually, um, this is what I meant, it's just to make these parts longer, but I actually had another idea, and um, to make it less abrupt with the lines here, maybe I should actually just make them larger, so that it's less of like just a flash of this darker color. Maybe I should instead, why do I only have two? I, I knew I had more. I don't know why it didn't uh, give it to me immediately. But instead, maybe I should just do this. Um, yeah, I think that could work at high speeds. So I'm just going to go and do that a couple times and see if it works. And if it doesn't, I'm out of ideas. I have no idea what to do. Oh, I actually do have one idea. Uh, I could use cyan terracotta instead of that, just so it's a little bit... No, because I think it's not really going to change it too much, and it's going to look too much like this. It's just not going to have... It's not going to look as good, and I feel like this is a good solution anyway. Why is it a cobblestone? What is this? Wait, was this the... Oh my god, this is how I originally got over to the boat path was through here because I originally had like something else no there wasn't even a boat path there was just a path and it led up here and then it led up oh wow this is this was months ago there was a path that led up here and then led to the old location of my portal which is right here because it used to be on top of a mountain not down deep in my base man uh, press like and subscribe and comment if you are here <laughs> since then. <laughs> this is pretty epic right here, though. I must say, finding quartz when you didn't actually mean to find quartz is pretty good, especially for someone building with a lot of quartz. I almost instinctively went to go kill the zombie pigman, which says something about me not having played for a while. You know, you should never do that. Luckily, I didn't, but also... I'm still in 1.14.2, I haven't updated to 0.3 yet because Optifine's not out and I really missed these shaders. And uh, there's currently a bug where uh, Pigwen will not stop being mad at you. Ever. And uh, it happened to me already, I didn't know it was a bug. Uh, I thought there was like a new thing where they didn't stop being mad at you for a very long time. Uh, I was very confused and died multiple times, almost lost this god armor here that I made. Man, these are pretty stupid names. I really need to change those. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it was a bug, and it was fixed in the new version. But I'm not on the new version. So if I hit that pig man, the entire episode planes would have been cancelled. Because, not going to the nether. I've gotten as much done as I had before, so let's see if it actually made any difference at all. I mean, I know it's going to make a bit of a difference, but is it, like... Is it all right now? Actually, I need to do it going back because it's not max speed. And this is where it really matters. Ah, I still didn't like that. I think it's too bright in here, which might be because of the shaders. And unless I had... No, I feel like the sea lanterns, the borders around... No, I don't know. Hmm. I'm really not sure. Uh, I, I don't know. What if, um, what if I get rid of the sea lanterns and use these torches that I don't care if they're here or not to light this up? Or what if, it doesn't really matter if things are lit up in another, what if it's just all dark? Because it's going to be lit up anyway, right? Like if I remove these, there's more ambient light. And if I'm right, which I think I am. I'm pretty sure there's way more ambient light in the nether than in the overworld, so if I just remove all of the lights, would that work? Can I just have the pathway dark? I mean, this is not a good example because there's still lights here. But like, if that's the darkest it gets, I think I'm fine with the path looking like that. It's not really... Oh. It's not really a problem. Uh, let's let's see. Maybe actually, I can have a sea lantern in the middle there, which will make it.
kind of bright in some places, although that might be defeating the purpose of what I'm doing here. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I think it actually looks nicer without the sea lanterns. It looks a lot smoother. Um, and I would like it to be bright, but it being this dark, it's not really that big of a problem. Plus, I can actually go in here and um, put sea lanterns in. And that might look good. Yeah, I'd say so. I think it looks nice. And I can also put a sea lantern in back here because it's different and uh, I think it look better there. In fact, I think I'm gonna put glass here too. I'll put glass and then I need a block to be here so that you don't like get hit. So I think I'm gonna go grab another blue ice and put it here. I think this is this is good because there's no way that's going to hurt your eyes without all the light here. It's really smooth now. That should be fine. I'm out of ice. Which means I actually have to go get more ice. Bruh. You know, if Bedrock actually had all the features that Java does, it would be so much better. It's way more optimized. It has all the multiplayer stuff, but it can't actually have all the features because Pocket Edition doesn't have the accessibility the other versions do. But you know the thing you can do with Bedrock where you can just kind of like place a block in front of you? That'd, that'd be really cool to have it. Like some of the Bedrock exclusive features are pretty cool. Things I like to see on Java, but I, I mean, they don't really have to be there. Because another Bedrock exclusive feature is that you can't break scaffolding instantly, which makes them even worse. <laughs> Um, so I don't, I don't want that. I mean, it wouldn't affect me because I'm probably not going to use much scaffolding anymore, but I don't know. Why, why did they do that? I was not expecting to get this far, but other than the ceiling, I am completely done. <laughs> I've done all of the walls and the floor all the way up to this point. Do not have the ceiling in because I don't think I have nearly enough quartz to do that, which means I'm going to have to go get a ton more, which is annoying. I also want to put a sign in at the end that says that this is my nether portal. No one's going to not know, but uh, I want to put a sign anyway. And also I had an idea. I should put black carpets over these just so it looks cool, I think. I think that'd look cool. I didn't think about doing that, but I'm going to do it. Oh, this is this is it. That is all of the smooth quartz slabs I can make. I am out 100% out of quartz. I had exactly enough to make this many, and for some reason I have an odd number. I don't know how that happened, but um, let's see let's see how far this gets me. And I finished. No, I didn't. <laughs> this did not get me. This is not getting me anywhere. I went from. I want to say here to there. <laughs> That's it. So to finish this whole thing, I'm going to need... I mean, that's going to help up there. A lot of quartz. Why, why have I not been mining all of this, though? There's so much quartz around here. I guess it's in the ceiling, though, and I didn't really feel like mining that. But I'll, I'll, get, uh, I'll get back to you then. Uh, it's pretty cool. I did it. I finished the whole thing. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. Like, this looks way better than it used to. Um, and by it used to, I mean two things. Back when it was just netherrack and also back when there was a bunch of lights the whole way across. I like it better with the lights very sporadically placed. Since in the nether, you don't have to light things up. Things are going to spawn no matter what, I believe. Because they have to spawn next to fire and lava normally. So, I don't think light matters. My next task would be to make the other nether portal thingy, not, not portal, but another tunnel leading from over where Kalen's is, because that's actually, that's actually the path I usually take, and um, I'm probably not going to make it as, I actually don't know what I'm going to do for that one, I think I want to do something different, but I'm not entirely sure. The actual next thing I want to do though is uh, show you something I did in the shopping area, a new it's not really a shop. It, you'll, you'll, you'll see. Alright, so um, in one of the new data packs that was added to Vanilla Tweaks, there's a new thing that lets us make custom villager trades in creative mode. So I set up a shop, and I'm going to let people put in their own custom uh, heads 
and stuff. I have everyone on the server who's using a skin. Um, over here, I guess the two members of Acer changed their skins a lot because this, these are not the heads I remember them having. And these are two joke skins which Cheese and Poncho Man are currently using. I have Cheese a, an altered version of Cheese's old head here. It it has a um a certain mustache on it. Uh, but it, it's close enough that it doesn't really matter. And I don't know if Punch Man ever didn't use a joke skin, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, though, I'm going to be grabbing these and taking them over to the shopping area where I have set up a store, which we should have custom villagers in. I'm not going to profit from this store. Eh. I'm not going to profit from this store, of course, because it uses villagers and a data pack. Um, it's just going to exist, basically. Now, unfortunately, to activate this store, like, to actually start it up, you have to be in, uh, creative mode. And I'm gonna allow this. If anyone wants to add anything to the store, just tell me beforehand so it doesn't look like they're going in creative mode for no reason. But, um... Oh, wait, no. This is, uh, it's a data pack that is part of Exuma's thing. I'll explain how it works right now. What it is, is you have... The prices of the things up on the top and the actual things you'll get on the bottom and what it's gonna be is one player head for a custom player head and you can get the player heads with the gems this is all stuff that worked I don't know if it currently works because it villagers changed so I'm not gonna mess with it I'm just gonna use this new system which should hopefully work if it doesn't then I, uh, I built this thing for nothing also, the thing I built is a giant Kermit head. I don't know if it looks good, necessarily. But, like, you you can tell it's Kermit, probably. I, I'd hope. And what should happen, except it won't happen because I need these player heads. Hold on. Uh, it feels really weird being in creative mode. But, um, what should... Ah, oh, I have to get villagers, too. Alright, this is the part which I'm not sure about. I don't know if this would be cheating or not, but I'm going to spawn in villagers because I think they have to be like normal villagers that can't... I don't think naturally spawned or made villagers actually work. I could be wrong about that, but I'm I'm just... I'm going to spawn the villagers in. This is the uh, the only part I'm not a very big fan of. That's That would be considered cheating there. I don't think they're going to have any trades though because... Yeah... Okay, that that shouldn't have happened to that one, but that's not a good sign. I can't, it immediately uh, brings me out of that, which is what was happening with the other ones. I'm going to have to look into why that's happening. I have no idea. That's not very good, though. Okay, so supposedly the reason that this is happening is it's actually UI glitch, where since they don't have workstations, it immediately exits you out. Um, so I tried putting a bunch of looms in here, which is why these people are shepherds, but obviously that didn't fix anything because these people aren't shepherds. They don't use the looms, so that's not their workstation. So we're just going to have to wait for the actual thing to be fixed for these people to work until then it's not gonna work so um i don't know maybe there's a way to like position the mouse over here or something and then oh i didn't mean to do that and then click uh so that like i can grab things but i don't think i don't think that's gonna work we only have like a frame or two i, I don't even know don't have enough time to shift click I don't think but may maybe who knows I don't which is also why I'm going to be ending the video here <laughs> I'm, I'm out of time it videos got to be edited and uh, yeah I'm, I'm out of time so bye